Hello everyone, and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to the Walt Disney World Good Neighbor Hotels. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! We're here near Disney Springs on the Sky Bridge near the Walt Disney World Good Neighbor Hotels. There are seven Walt Disney World Good Neighbor Hotels that offer value, comfort, and quality. Stay close to the magic with great package options and select Walt Disney World Resort benefits. All hotels are conveniently located near the Disney Springs area you can choose from multiple family-friendly hotels with features to suit your style. No matter where you stay, rest assured that these hotels offer a variety of accommodations, like providing Walt Disney World resort information, having a guest services desk to assist with Walt Disney World vacation planning, and in some cases offer transportation to Walt Disney World theme parks. Many of these locations also include breakfast, kitchenettes, and pet-friendly rooms. Walt Disney World Good Neighbor Hotels. There's Disney Springs, the Hilton Orlando Lake Buena Vista, Holiday Inn, B Resort and Spa, Doubletree, Best Western, Wyndham, and the Hilton Orlando Buena Vista Palace. Off in the distance is Disney Springs and the Lime Garage. But if we look over to our right hand side, here's the Sky Bridge that takes us over to Disney Springs. But the opposite way will take us to the area hotels and the parking lots. Let's go there and walk over the Sky Bridge. Take flight on Aerofile. There's where we came from. We're coming to the end of the Sky Bridge. And we're going to go down these steps here, down to ground level. You could follow the Sky Bridge up and over all the way down to Disney Springs. And down below is the sidewalk that'll take us to our first location. Hotel Plaza Boulevard's over to our left hand side and here's the Hilton Orlando Lake Buena Vista. Those blue tiles on the roof can only mean one thing, Tepon. We've arrived at our first good neighbor hotel. Let's go inside and take a look. Let's go through these sliding doors into the lobby and through the second set of doors. And here's the guest registration area for check-in. Let's head down this direction and see what there's to discover. Just inside the lobby is Main Street Market where they have a Starbucks. There's also the Covington Mill that offers a hot breakfast buffet and a continental breakfast. Here's an awesome photo spot for the Junior Explorers. You could even take your picture with the BB unit. But only at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Around the corner is Benihana, one of my personal favorite restaurants. Now let's head off in the opposite direction and go look at the pool area. And there's Mickey Mouse. The convention center's down there, but over to the right hand side are the elevators and the pool. Let's keep going. Here are the elevators and straight ahead is the fitness center. Let's go through these doors here, out to the pool. Down below is the waiting pool for the Junior Explorers, and off in the distance is a pool. They even have a second pool here, with a tower that overlooks it. Just outside of the pool area is another walkway that leads down to Disney Springs. Let's take that. This sidewalk ends at the Sky Bridge. But we'll continue walking down Hotel Plaza Boulevard to our second location. On the other side of the roadway is the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista. There's a pond below, and there's the Hilton Orlando in the background. Holiday Inn. How about a peek inside? And here's the front desk. Here's the bar and lounge. And the breakfast serving area in this tall atrium. It just keeps going up and up. Stormtroopers adorn this elevator door. But don't forget to take your photo with this astromech droid. 
adjacent to the lobby is this calm pool area. This building is the Holiday Inn's Convention Center, and over to the left-hand side is the sidewalk. And continue on with our journey to the Bee Resort and Spa. Located outside the main entrance is where you could catch a theme park shuttle or grab a bite to eat at the American Kitchen Bar and Grill. Here's a quick look at the arrival area before we go inside. Be magical. And here's the front desk and lobby. They have a quaint gift shop here and even another meet and greet. Across the courtyard is a grand ballroom. And just around the corner is the pool area. It's time now to go to see our fourth location. Here we are at the Doubletree by Hilton. Let's go in for a closer look. And we're just inside the lobby area now. Over on the right hand side, there's concierge, registration, and bell services. Yet another photo spot. Located in the lobby area is the budget car rental desk. Down this hallway is the pool and fitness center. Let's go down there. There's the fitness center and the pool area. Down below is the pool and off in the distance is the Double Tree Tower. Okay, explorers, next up we're gonna go see where the Walt Disney World property begins. Here we are at the Walt Disney World gateway entrance sign. There's where the property begins. Welcome to Walt Disney World, the most magical place on earth. Hi Mickey. And on the other side of the Hotel Plaza Boulevard is Minnie. Even the road signs are themed. But now let's continue on by heading down this pathway, down to our fifth location. This hotel used to be the Best Western, but it looks like it's currently under construction. A new hotel coming soon? We'll have to wait and see. The former Walt Disney World Preview Center was housed in this building. This was the location of the Preview Center that opened in 1970 before Walt Disney World was complete to showcase the offerings of the Walt Disney World Resort. It operated from 1970 to 1971 and it was the first building on Walt Disney World property to open to the public. Currently, the Amateur Athletic Union occupies this building and it appears very similar to its original design. We made it to our sixth location. Up ahead is the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista. Welcome, guest check-in, and go through the doors into the lobby. I think we found guest check-in. And around the corner is guest services and a dollar rent-a-car desk. Take a look at this fancy staircase that goes up to the Lakeview restaurant. And there's the fitness center right through there. They even have a game room arcade here. This is not the droid you're looking for. To access the pool area, we have to go down. There's the elevator we just got off of. We have to go around the corner to the left. To access the pool area on ground level. Up ahead is the Oasis Bar, and over to the right hand side is a splash pad for the Junior Explorers. The pool also has a neat waterfall. And there's the Wyndham Tower, off in the distance. There's also a Whirlpool Spa for the grown-up explorers. By now, you probably know what time it is. It's time to head over to our seventh and final location. There's the pedestrian sky bridge again, and just behind me is the Wyndham Tower. There's the aerophile balloon again. We'll continue walking down this sidewalk here to our seventh location. We've arrived at the Hilton Orlando Buena Vista Palace. There's the Disney Shuttle Bus Stop, Disney Theme Park Bus Transportation Schedule. For our final location, let's go through the sliding doors here. Over to our left hand side is Concierge, but there's guest registration just down there. And here's the front desk for check-in. Also in the atrium is Sunny's Lounge. Over to the left hand side is a lobby. And over here are the elevators. Let's go up. Let's go up to the 12th floor and check out the view. Here's what it looks like from the 12th floor looking down 
I hope you're not scared of heights. And here's what the room door entry looks like with the room number plaque on the door. Let's push the button to go down to the pool level. They also have a convention center here. Down on ground level is letterpress where they offer a hot breakfast buffet and a continental breakfast. There's also C28 where you can get some quick bites to go. Now let's head down this hallway here to the pools, float lagoon, shades restaurant and bar, and the island of Etlon. The pool area is located on this tropical island paradise. There's the Disney Springs Island building. And here's the pool with the Art Deco inspired rooms in the background. On the other side of the pool is the Shades Pool Bar. Here's the event lawn. How nice and refreshing this is with the Hilton Tower just in the background. Down below is the Float Lagoon, complete with water jets. Look at the current take them down the lazy river. They even have a wading pool here. It's time now to head back to the Sky Bridge. Follow me. We're back. There's a time shift in the space-time continuum. Here we are on the Sky Bridge near the entrance to Disney Springs again, but sadly our journeys come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Walt Disney World Good Neighbor Hotels just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later explorers.